What's up y'all, welcome to Fury Talks. I'm your host Seth Fury. So today we're gonna talk about zodiac signs and how they apply to relationships. Some people really believe in them and some people don't. They're a little skeptical, as I once was as well. But after this episode, I'm curious to see if you guys still feel the same way. So today's guest really needs no introduction. He's one of the biggest influences in the world, but I'm gonna introduce him anyway for the 1% of y'all who don't know. Welcome to the show, Daystorm Power. What's up, brother? What's up, my man? How are you? Good, very good. Happy Let's to have go. you here. Hell, you know, six feet, six feet. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maintain it, still working, but still being safe at the same time. Hey, let's go. You know? So, Daystorm, I love what you do. I mean, you're, you're like I said, you're the icon, you're the OG when it comes to social media. And I think the greatest thing about you, myself, is that you're always evolving and you're always just reinventing yourself. You have to. You do. Like, you're never just doing one type of content. You'll go from doing the music videos, right. winning awards for it. Right. You'll go from doing short movies, you'll go from doing the skits, and then you also do really informative type stuff too when the, next, right. when the time calls for it. Right. You know, and I love how you use your platform to share real substance type of information. You, you have know? to. And a lot of people don't do that, so that's hats off to you for that. Thank you. I think the reason I do that is because everybody has different, you know, different levels to themselves. Yeah. No one's just one-sided. So mm -hmm. I try to reach beyond just someone who loves music. Exactly. So someone who loves film. And then you still have to have a motivational side or a fitness yeah. side or some side of you that wants to be entertained in another fashion. Or they'll yeah. get bored of you quick. Because you do all of that, exactly. Right. Some people are one-dimensional, not you. And then the most recent thing you had which you did a whole <laughs> series about was the zodiac signs. Yeah, because uh, growing up, you hear a lot of people talking about man, I don't believe in zodiac signs and stuff. Yeah. And I, I, you know, growing up, I was a little skeptical. Although I also wanted to just dig, delve into it and just see how far I can go and see how true it is. Yeah. So when I started to just do my research on different signs, I realized that a lot of these things do pertain to different people mm -hmm. and, and their signs. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, when I talked about your sign. Oh yeah, it, it, I was just scrolling through and I was like, wait, is he following me around? Right. Like I felt like everything was spot on. Yeah. I had a comment on that. So hit the nail on the hit the nail on the head for many. And then, and one thing I don't like to do is I don't like to just put stuff up because there are millions of people watching, right? Yeah. So if I'm going to put something up, it's got to be on point. On point. You got to know what you're talking about. Right. Yeah. So when I put it out and then I got 95, 99% <laughs> positive reaction, I say, well, this Zodiac stuff must be true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how do you apply the Zodiac signs when it comes to like dating? Like, have you ever dated outside of your compatible match? I have my yeah. ex-girlfriend. What are you, a, by the way? I, I'm an Aquarius. Oh, oh and, that's and my ex-girlfriend okay. <laughs> was a, was a Scorpio. Okay, and um, she's she's the very opposite, which is why we clashed a lot. But yeah. we we were the but it was also my longest relationship. Okay, but it's still all the things that were said about our signs were still true, which is yeah. some things we had to battle through because when you love someone or care for someone, you have to just battle through all of those yeah. things. Although when I have dated the compatible signs that mm -hmm. are for me, it was just so much smoother. Yeah, yeah. Did you know about the zodiac signs and all that knowledge back then when you were dating? I did. Ex? Oh, you I, did? I did. It's okay. just that um, love wins. Gotcha, and, yeah. And you, can't, <laughs> and you can't fight when you care about someone. Love, love and hate, you know, will, or they overpower everything in between. You know okay. what I'm saying? When you care about somebody, you don't care about anything in between. For example, yeah. if you hate somebody who snores, if you love them, you deal with their snoring. That's true. That's true. You know? I um I had an ex one time. Well, I had just gotten into a new relationship at the time. This was like 10 years ago. Mm. And I didn't know anything about Zodiac signs. I just knew that I liked her a lot. And I told my cousin about it just out of excitement. Right. I said, man, you got to meet this girl. She's amazing. She's like, oh yeah, what's her sign? Let me look her up. She looked her up. She was an Aquarius, mm. right? I'm a Cancer. Mm. Those two don't go together. No. Yeah. <laughs> right. I didn't know that. And right, I was right. just like, well, come on, man. You, you don't know my girl. Like, how could you tell me that anything about her and our relationship based off of something you looked up on the internet? Right. Like, we're two completely different individuals. So I didn't listen to her. I ignored her. And I went through with the relationship. Ten months later, we broke up. Right. And I looked back at that little passage that she sent me. And I just started reading all the details of it and I was never more blown away by how on point, on point. everything was. Everything yeah. was on point. It's I was like, point. yo, we had a fight about this, we had a fight about that. It may not have been the same examples, but it was the same field. It the was same, the same world. Same world. Yeah, and is, I was yeah. just like, wow, okay, so this stuff has some truth to it. Right. First off, how did you learn so much about the Zodiacs? 
I was just curious. You know, um, I did a video on YouTube when mm -hmm. I was doing heavy YouTube, and I used to do rap videos about different subjects. Okay. Whether it was rap songs, or whether it was, uh, um, we could have been, I don't know, candy bars or whatever, but someone asked me to do a Zodiac rap. Okay. You know, I would do one about Rubik's Cubes, and Monopoly games. So I said, if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to make a song about Zodiacs, yeah. it was called Love Signs. And if I'm going to make a song about Zodiacs, I want to study. And when I started uh, to okay. study, mm -hmm. what I did was I started to look into the girls that I dated throughout my life, like yeah. whether it was in college or after school and things like that. And then I started to put their signs to their their, their tr character traits. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And then I was yeah. like, wait, wait, this is this blah, blah, blah. Or this yep. is this yeah. girl. And <laughs> yeah. I said, wait, so a lot of this stuff is hitting at home. Yeah. I just don't feel like the Zodiac signs would have been around that long if it was that fake. Got exactly, yeah. You know, so. so let's just say somebody um, met somebody that was outside of their Zodiac sign. Do you feel as if sometimes people will prejudge and almost self-sabotage a relationship? All the time. Based on that Zodiac sign? All the time. I do it. You do it too? I think, people, I think everyone does it. Like, yeah. like sometimes I'll look and I'll be like, oh man, I was just... Like you'll, you'll hear people say it all the time. I, yeah. I mean, I met this girl the other day and then she was like, oh, you're an Aquarius? Oh God. Yeah, it's like off me. the yeah. top. Yeah. I was like, what did I do to you? You don't yeah. even know me. Yet. She was like, no, I, I, my last two boyfriends were, was Aquarius and it yeah. just didn't work out. And people, that's just what people do. It's yeah, always... It, it is judgment. frustrating. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, the zodiac sign is like a, a small way to kind of give you a gauge of that mm -hmm. type of person. But there's so much more that goes it's a into lot a more. character, it's like a lot more. how they grew up, their family ties. Like, that's why I take it with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. And I almost feel like I slightly empathize with them a little bit for some of the things they might do. Because right. I understand where it's coming from. Right. And I don't get as offended when right. they do some craziness. I met this girl once in the grocery store. Mm. and. I don't typically meet people out and about, especially like at a grocery store. Right. Usually I do it more like in the club setting or the lounge. But I, I really wanted to talk to this girl and I made my way over to her and the spark was instant. What was I, the sign? I didn't get there yet, uh, but the, okay. the spark was instant and I was just like, I'm really glad I talked to this girl. And then I was like, what's your sign? And she said Aquarius. Mm. And I said, oh, damn. damn. And her first response was, what are you, a cancer? And I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the fact yeah. that you knew to say that right. was, was mind blowing. So right. we were just like, you know what? Fuck it. Let, let's just go ahead and, and date anyway, or at least get to know each other. We hung out a few times, and it was actually great in the beginning until it got As to it the always point. is. Yeah, there's something about, like, I, I think I clicked with the Aquarius woman uh, early in on really fast, right. initially. And then it starts to get into it. That's when we started to notice the differences. Then the clashes started to, started, started yes, started yeah. to happen. Yes, yeah. We got into yeah. a fight that lasted for like two weeks. And I was, I kept trying to explain to her my point of view. And I was talking to my friends like, you see where I'm coming from, right? They're like, bro, something makes plain sense to me. I'm like, why doesn't she get it? And I kept talking to her. And then finally, we both kind of just sat there in silence. And we were like, it's because of the signs. It's because of signs. And we both just started laughing because we realized that we were getting so frustrated over something we already knew was gonna happen. Right. We knew this. You knew it was coming. And then when it happened, we were just like, let's go back to what we initially said. We tried the dating thing, it didn't work. Right. Let's go, we already know it ain't gonna work, so now we're good friends, and we're still friends. Right. That was something in which I had already experienced in Aquarius, that when I got to the new one, I wasn't as butthurt. As, right. as the first time, so yeah. Okay, so in your, in your experience, right. with me being a cancer, what should be the sign that I should go after? What sign works best for you? I don't know. What's, what's I mean? I've date. I'm obviously single, so nothing's worked. So entirely. when you, when yeah. you when, this is what I tell people. Okay. I say when you read up on your signs, there's there's always three signs okay. that they say are most compatible for you. Okay. Right. Yep. I don't know it off the top of my head for gotcha. each sign because yeah. it's twelve signs, mm -hmm. but there will be three signs that you are most compatible with. Okay. And there will be three signs that you're least compatible with. Okay. I know you're least compatible with Aquarius only because I'm an Aquarius gotcha. and I yeah. know that Aquarius and Cancer and also Scorpio you don't really you won't really get along with as well yeah. and I know that there's specific signs that you probably won't get along with yeah. as well. Okay, so based on what you know about me, I just want to know what is it that you think makes me and an Aquarius woman not compatible? Because Aquarius women are very strong-headed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They they really feel passionate about what they think. And okay. you can't you can't change an Aquarius woman's mind. So also, well, kind of. Well, I think everyone's hard headed in their own way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess hard headed in their own way. But I think also that Aquarius women are very um, gung ho for change and for a certain their own change, whether it be okay. something you agree with or not. They're going to try and make that 
change. Also, one thing about Aquarius women is Aquarius women, they have multiple groups that they of people of people okay that they're always around they don't yeah. they, they have their close-knit group of friends but mm -hmm. they'll just disappear for a month so they just like to be around people they just like to be around the, yeah. the, around people okay and it's not their fault that's yeah. just who they are i know quite a few aquarius women that just that are friends with me right now and they'll just disappear and then i'm like okay i'll see you in a month yeah <laughs> and I, see, I don't i don't get mad as a friend, it works. It works as a friend because you don't hold that type of expectation to a friend. Right. I'll see you next month. That's fine. When you're trying to date them, that's crushing. Well, yeah. Gee, next month. I want to see you tomorrow. But that's who they are. Sagittarius ah. women are the same way. Same way? Okay, so I know to stay away from Sag. Now, you don't have to stay away. You yeah. just have to know that this is what you're getting yourself into, and it's not something that you can fight. Sagittarius women, they'll just go and travel to another country and just be gone and you're like yo what's up so i feel like if you're actually going to date somebody like that you are going to have to almost change your expectations and almost change a little bit of who you are like i would have to numb my feelings that would obviously be hurting right. in order to be with her well you're a cancer so you're you have those type of feelings like for example yeah. i'm an aquarius i don't have I, I, i'm not wired that way yeah, so yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. A, if it depends on how you're wired mm -hmm. as well yeah. As a Cancer, as a Pisces, you guys happen to be wired away where you need your person there at that time or you're going to get upset. Yeah. Me personally, like if someone leaves and goes to Africa or whatever, all right, cool. I'm going to just get this work done, see you when you get back. Okay. So that's yeah. why they say the that's where the compatibility nature comes into effect because yeah. if you can't handle how that person is, mm -hmm. there's some people who don't like that much attention and there's some people who like all the attention. Yeah. You know, I think a nice balance is fair as far as attention goes. But some but some signs don't have that balance. That's true. Okay, so I don't need to be like over loved and overshadowed and just like so much pressure all over me at all times. Right. I just need so to you feel need a you wanted. need a sign that that that's yeah. in the middle. I want to feel wanted. Right. But Aquarius women don't make you feel, and they always say, I, I, I meet Aquarius women. They're like, oh, you met the wrong girl because I love to cuddle and I love affection and I love to be all about my man once I get. And I was like. You might be the one off because every Aquarius woman I know, they love to be very independent and they like to let you know that I could be gone tomorrow. They don't ever make you feel like I'm here to stay. They don't say the affirming words to make you feel like it's okay to open up your heart and be vulnerable with them. No, they feel like if you do this, you very well might just get your heart broke when she just decides she's bored. That's terrible. That's a terrible thing. That's who feeling. they are. Yeah, that's that's who I they are. But you, but the thing is, you have to be a sign willing to deal with the, with who they are. Okay. Like I like for example, my the type of sign that I am, or the type of sign. If you were, I'm trying to think of another sign that can deal with with, with something like maybe a, with, with, I think maybe a Taurus, right? Okay. There's, they can deal with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They could just be like, all right. What do you think about cancer and cancer? Um, usually, well, usually signs on signs get along pretty well. They're not the yeah. best for each other, but they usually get along well. I don't think you need an opposite attraction. I just think you need somebody that can balance what balance, you're trying to balance, do. Yeah. And finding somebody on the opposite end of the spectrum won't balance it because even if you're getting along in the beginning, as time passes, you're going to start having problems. Yeah. And you're going to start arguing and you'll fight it because even as much as I love my Scorpio, it's mm -hmm. like, yo. Yeah. We're 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 bumping heads. Yeah. I can't do this because, yeah. you know, I can't. Yeah. I just can't do this. Scorpios are very hard people to get along with. But, but, My brother's a Scorpio, so I, I I know firsthand his personality. And yeah. when I when I heard your thing about that, I said, "Yep, that sounds like him." Yeah. Like when you yeah. cross them, that's it. That's it. Like they they don't come back. It's almost like they take pride in knowing that they were able to keep that grudge. Like they'll feel like they're feeling <laughs> yeah, themselves yeah, yeah. because yeah. they forgave you. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, it's not that deep. We can be friends. Just let it go. They grudge holders. Yeah. They're like, no, I said I ain't going to talk to you for the rest of my life. That's I got how it's going to be. 30 more years to go. <laughs> you got 30 more years of me not speaking to you. And that's what I am as a Scorpio. I mean, that's who they are. But then you have the Leos who are like the lion, right? So they're yep. like super leaders. They have to be leaders. But then mm -hmm. you have things like Aries who have to be number one. So okay, an Aries, yeah. for example, I wouldn't want to deal with an Aries. And, and personally, mm -hmm. um, although women Aries and male Aries are different, you know what I'm saying? If you take a male Aries, for example, ladies, be warned that he's going to want to be the center of attention, mm -hmm. everything. Gotcha. He has yeah. to be number one. You have to stroke his ego and things. But then you have those signs that need to be lavished, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a lavishing guy. Like, I don't, 
I like to laugh. Like I like to spoil my women or mm -hmm. in with knowledge, right? Got you. Okay. That's who I am. I like women who like to be turned on through knowledge, mm -hmm. right? And if if I'm talking to someone who needs gifts and things to feel spoiled, for example, like a Libra, right? Okay. Libra women love gifts. You gotcha. give them gifts, so you surprise them. This is Libra season now, right? Libra season. That's so funny. So I, if you, I, yeah, I got a friend right now that just had a birthday, mm. and I was just looking at her hotel room, and I was just like, it would be hard to keep up with you, because like every time she has a birthday or something, mm. whoever she's with does the most stuff That's for her. Libra. I mean, and I'm just like, no wonder why she's so happy. That's I mean, Libra. rose petals covering the hotel room, bears, balloons. I'm just like, that's what they this. want, yeah, yeah, but I'm not it. that guy. Yeah. I don't want to buy you all of yeah. that stuff. <laughs> Call me up, I'll help you start a business yeah. so you can get it yourself. That makes sense, yeah. And um, a lot of, there's there's, there's about five, four or five signs of women who love being spoiled with gifts. Yeah. And I'm not a gift spoiler. Mm -hmm. It's just not in my sign to do it. I don't yeah. know if it's in your sign to do it or not. No, I mean, I like to give, I like surprises. Right. I think we do, as cancers, love romance. Right. And uh, I remember when I had my last ex, I would do more of the subtle things that right. make you feel as if I paid attention and I listened. Right. So maybe throughout the year, you may have threw out a few hints. And, and you come sure Christmas you get time, I, I remember. So when I give, do the gift giving, mm. you're going to feel like I know you. Right. You know, it's not a, a generic, hey, I picked up a watch on the right. way home. I don't like those gifts. But I've never seen myself doing all that crazy, like dropping $10,000 on some on. gifts. But I but will some, do a lot of heartfelt stuff. There are some people who love that. I know. And yeah. that's what they need to yeah. feel wanted. There's people who, there's different levels of people feel wanted. Some people yeah. feel loved and wanted through gifts. Some people feel it through knowledge. Some people feel it through affection. Yeah. So it depends on what they feel it through. And yeah. that breaks down the signs. Even myself, when it comes to, let's just say I'm with a girl that I actually like. Like, okay, sure, if I'm just, if I got a couple girls and someone wants to just buy me a nice gift, I'm not going to be upset about it. But let's say it comes from someone I really like. I would appreciate a gift that felt like she knew me, right? right? So one of my other exes, she bought me on Christmas time, right? I got her a dog. I got her all these little things that I knew she wanted for the past few months. So I said, oh, when Christmas comes, she's going to know how much I love her. This is going to be amazing. She got me a watch. And I was just like, what about this made you feel like I needed a watch? Am I late? Do I look <laughs> like, like I wear... I, aside from this, I literally, this right, is my first watch right, in like right. years, but like... Aside from this, I never really wear watches, and there was nothing I ever felt or mentioned. You know, I've been mentioning music. I figured she would have maybe got me a microphone or an inbox, and you know, it would have probably cost less than the watch, but it would have meant so much because it's what I needed. You know, my brother got me a $10 toy of a replica motorcycle because I had just bought in my first motorcycle, and this was a big obstacle, a big hurdle for me that I've been wanting for so long. That little small gift was my favorite gift because. I, he knew how much it meant to me. Right. So for me to have a symbol right. of all the hard work that I put on, I was like, see, this is a gift. And that's a real how, gift. That's it's a real hard quote unquote Christmas That's time. what I'm saying. Yeah. So when it comes to gift giving, so, that's the cancer side of me. Yeah. Right. And that's how I give and receive or like to receive. Right. And and I and this is why it goes back to knowing the signs. A lot of people don't believe in signs, but I promise you, people, if you go and you just go and read the basic traits of a specific sign and you follow that blueprint you'll get along with that person so much better because believe it or not even though people live different lifestyles mm -hmm. they grow up differently those basic traits yeah. do fall into those categories for those people yeah it's just what it is mm -hmm. i don't know how yeah i don't know why but it's what it is because yeah. you saw your basic traits yeah and it, what, it was what it was yeah, right it was now imagine if you studied those traits on a person so when i meet a girl mm -hmm. every time i meet someone i look at the basic traits yeah and if i'm looking at these basic traits and if it's two or three of them is just way off of who i can be and i have to change myself for that i'm uh, not going to yeah. do it and that's not really yeah. unless she's super dope and i'm like y'all yeah get we'll that. figure it out i'm gonna figure this out <laughs> i don't care yeah the, yeah other than that i'm not gonna do it yeah i mean it's so it's, it's like you got a little cheat code you got a cheat code. You got a cheat code into their fundamental way of being. It's always worked yeah. for me. It is really tough when you meet someone that you really like that just so happens to not be your compatible sign. Right. And I have found myself just trying anyway. Like, I'm, I'm at least going to give it a shot because maybe... And it never works. I know. That's what sucks. <laughs> it, ne it never works. I know. Because yeah. the thing about it is a lot of people say it's bullshit because in the beginning it works. Yeah. It yeah. always works in the beginning yeah. with anybody. Mm -hmm. You can get with any sign in the beginning and make it work for a, a couple of weeks, a yeah. month, even half a year. Yeah. But once you start getting closer to that year mark, mm -hmm. shit, the real person yeah. starts to come out because 
you done already probably slept together. You'd already traveled. You'd probably probably did so many things together. Yeah. So then it's you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Once people let their guards down and they start to let them real self out, yeah. that's when those real traits come out. That's true. You know, girls, they be like, oh, I'm not going to fight around him. Or I'm not going to do this around this person. <laughs> or I'm not going to wear my... Yeah. I, look, I, and you meet specific females who will wear their makeup for the first six months. Yeah. Until yeah, month so. seven, and then it's like their face is off. Yeah. And it's like, okay, that's the real you. And then you got to decide if you want to stay. And metaphorically, yeah. we're not just talking about the physical. We talk yeah. about mental and emotional, so, too. They mm -hmm. wear their, make their mask. Yeah. Men and women wear their masks until like that six, seventh month, and then their mask comes off, and it's like, holy yeah. shit, who are you? Mm -hmm. This is a new person. I can't marry this person. Yeah. Because then you start getting annoyed. And if you're around that same person, you got to be able to deal with their annoyances yeah. forever. Yeah. My best friend is an uh, Aquarius male. Right. Um, but I, I, again, it's just a friend, so it is right. a little different. But here's the funny thing about it is that when he dates other women, he'll come to me and he'll be like, I don't understand why she's tripping. I'll be like, what do you mean? Why, why, tell me what happened. He'll be like, well, you know, I, I said I was going to call her, but it got late and I figured, you know, she's probably sleeping. I'll just call her tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And, and he couldn't rationalize what possibly could have made her upset. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, well, you said you were gonna call her. You should have just called her. You know what I mean? Like right. you, you can't just decide that you're just gonna change what you already committed to and then not be understanding as to why she's upset the next day. Right. And I was, you know, little things like that. And I'm like, bro, like these are just the oblivious Aquarius traits that you just like, what's the big deal? Like, so what if I'm just, cause you're so free. Right. You just kind of move on I'm your own. I'm the same way. Yeah, you just move I'm, as you I'm move. Free. Yeah. I'm like, whatever. Somebody, somebody like me, I'm really gonna be committed to hearing that phone call because I know that I would give that phone call. Like right. when I say something, I, it's to my dying breath, I'm going to make sure I call you because that's what I told you. I think it comes down to people People rationalize and people conceptualize and people put certain things on a certain level. For example, me, when I keep my word, it's for certain, what I find important Got, of, yeah, of, of yeah. my word, right? Mm -hmm. M making a phone call for, for somebody is, yeah. is not a big deal to me. You see what yeah. I'm saying? But then if like, for example, if someone says, yo, I really need you for this project or whatever, mm -hmm. I know how important that is to me. So I'm there for the, that project. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So when it shouldn't be that way yeah because you because as an Aquarius that's how we see it yeah because we're like that's not even that important like that's yeah. not changing the world that's not that's not doing anything but and it's such a big deal to and us. it's such a big yeah. deal to someone else mm -hmm. and we don't we don't rationalize it that way and yeah. that's why people are wired differently whereas for example someone who's super super emotional like more more so than a cancer, a Pisces, right? Okay. If you tell a Pisces, oh, they worse than us. What worse? Really? Okay. So if you tell a Pisces, and also with Pisces, you got to be willing to listen because okay. you won't get a word in. They okay. will talk. <laughs> so okay, yeah. that's one thing you have to deal with as well. Uh -huh. But if you tell a Pisces, like for example, I'm going. All right, I'm on my way over, and they're like, All right, well, can you stop by the store and get me like a coke or whatever? Well, yeah. if I got time, I'll do it. Okay. If you don't come with that coke, yeah. your relationship's over. Like you're yeah. arguing for weeks. Because yeah. it's one of those things where that's so important to them. They mm -hmm. take the smallest and most minuscule things yeah. and make it that important. Where me, for something that important has to be like BLM. So how, true, that's uh, so obviously more important. But how would you feel if you asked for someone to grab you a drink and they came and back? And if they didn't, I wouldn't care. Really? I, I wouldn't I wouldn't care. Like, it's like, uh, they like, I didn't get the drink. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, let's just, let's just post me something. Like, I don't care. But if it's something yeah. like, something like on a larger universal scale that yeah. deals with the masses or whatever, mm -hmm. if they're like, yo, I was going to drop this video about Black Lives Matter and I'll just do it next week. And I'm like, you'll do it next week. Yeah. What do you mean you'll do it? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what upsets me. Okay. But if they didn't come with the Coke, I don't care. So it, I think mm. some people care about the more minuscule things and that's what the understanding has to be because that's where yeah. the arguments come into play. Yeah. That's right. why it's just, it's just like you have to find the perfect match. You have to match. find the perfect yeah. match. Because if someone forget three or four things of these little gestures, then you're really upset. <laughs> you're really upset. Whereas do you some, actually forget or do you just don't care? Like, is, is it really just I don't, out of I don't. I don't think that for me, for me, and for men, most Aquarius men, you know, men and women, they just so busy thinking about other stuff. Okay. Well, that they're not even thinking on the level of, I'm not thinking about a goddamn Coke. Yeah. I'm not thinking, yeah. what did I go get there? I'm like, oh, I don't care. Well, yeah. because in my mind, I'm like, if I get there and I forgot, I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot. We'll just post me something. Oh, well, okay. I'll just figure it out. Or we'll just do something. Like, did yeah. you get it? No, because we can... We can work through this right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can work. We can move forward with this work. Yeah. And they're like, no, I wanted that right well, now. Well, let me ask you. Do you think that's a woman thing? Or No, no, no. I, I really? Because I think women, a lot of women will get upset by those small I, I see men get upset about it, but they don't, they don't show it. 
A lot of men will get upset about small gestures and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you like small gestures. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Like so, so you may get upset about it, but you're not gonna show it like a woman would show. You'd be like, I "Oh, know, that's yeah. fucked up, man. How she can just all right, in she, my mind, I might be a little bitter. For yeah, the you'll night. be a little bitter. I don't give a, <laughs> all right, that's fucked up. Okay, she don't yeah. care. She don't care. All right, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. We ain't on the same level. Like you're thinking <laughs> these things in your head. Yeah. Whereas a woman is just more vocal about it because she's a woman, and that's she true. she yeah. can be more emotional and vocal about it because you know that's just how it is in society. You're allowed to do that as a woman, but gotcha. as a man. Yeah. If you're bitching about stuff, they're like, why are you bitching? Yeah. So you'll shut it down, but in your mind, you're thinking about it. Yeah. But me, I'm not thinking about it at all. Like, I, I done already canceled you out. I'm not going to say it till tomorrow when you realize my phone ain't, I ain't calling you no more. Exactly. So, do you agree with that whole Scorpio being the freakiest sign? Scorpios are, are very, Is that very, a thing? Well, the reason it's that way is because they say for each sign, there's a specific point of your body that you can touch to turn that sign on. Okay, I now, didn't know that. Now, um, I used to know them by heart. Okay. But, um, for example, I think there's a specific sign. I think it was the Pisces. You touch their feet, it turns them on more. Okay. You, you touch this part of this person, the back of a specific person's body, their spine, it turns okay. them on more. With a Scorpio, mm-hmm. their turn on is their entire body. Okay, oh, their entire body. <laughs> their entire body. Okay, okay. So, so everything. So anything you touch on a Scorpio turns yeah. them on. Gotcha. Whereas okay. for, for me, like if I'm dating... Uh, a girl, right? And she mm-hmm. comes up and she starts playing with my knees or my fucking feet. I don't yeah. care. I'm, okay. not, my dick's not getting hard. Yeah, it's just not. <laughs> yeah. But if, but you know, like she got to do something. You know, we got to really get into it for yeah. me to be, you know, turned on. Turn, yeah. And and there's there's specific parts of a cancer yeah. man and woman that you do you know with that one I'm curious I, I don't but we can we can definitely look, yeah look at I'm curious look it yeah because uh, I would love to know I didn't know there was ever like a yes, of particular course. body part. That's interesting. Okay, cancer's chest, breast, and stomach. That's funny. I love my stomach. Yeah. Yeah, I love my. St- yeah. That yeah. okay. That so cancer's that, chest, breast, that and makes stomach. sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Obviously not the breast, but the stomach. Sure. Right. What was the other one? Chest, breast, and wait. And what was it? Yeah, chest, breast. Oh, and so stomach. the same thing. Okay, just right. that whole for the woman. Yeah, yeah. Got so, you. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. I I didn't know that was that was a me thing, or a cancer thing. I thought that was just me. Right, and then for the for the the Scorpio, it's the entire body and their sexual organs. Okay, but you know, and they, <laughs> uh, you know, um, touch anything they go off. Okay, so that just means that they get turned on quicker, but not necessarily that they're freakier. Because well, they always give them. I would I I wouldn't say that. I I would say if you're with your com, your compatible sign, you're just you're just freaky. But the yeah. thing about the interesting thing about the Scorpio is they're only super freaky with someone that they that they care about they're not just out fucking everything they're not okay no so like yeah. when they are when they do care because it's crazy that because a scorpio for example is said to be the freakiest sign but they only can be freaky when they care about somebody okay. which sucks that yeah. you can be that sexual but yeah. you can't just do it with anybody i feel like it's a catch 22 yeah because i myself find myself to be a very freaky person as a cancer. Well, cancer and I've heard freak, that about other cancers too. Yeah. So that is a thing yeah, too as yeah. well. Cancer very freaky what do, you, what do you think makes a person that way, aside from a sign? Do you think it just comes down to, like what, what, if your opinion, because there are some people that are just the most non-sexual people at all, you know? And then there are some people that just can't get enough of it. If it's not the signs alone, what else do you think would be a factor <laughs> that makes people that way or? Um, I think, the amount of testosterone in a person makes them that much more freaky. For okay. example, if a woman, um, I won't say, I, I'm not going to say with men only because men have a lot of testosterone anyway. Okay. Mm-hmm. The more you work out and the more fit you are, the more sexual you will become. I've heard that. Uh, yeah. With women, though, I, I use them as an example because when women get more fit, they gain more testosterone. So if mm-hmm. you may, if you meet a woman athlete, for example, I ran professional track and field. Yeah. Every girl on the track team was the freakiest woman I've ever met in my life because wow. their yeah. testosterone levels were through the roof. They yeah. wanted to fuck in the bush. Yeah. That's just who they were. <laughs> yeah. So if you meet a girl who's always in the gym or whatever, yeah. they don't even know why, but they're just more horny because their okay. testosterone levels. And women always say, well, why do men always want to do it with all these people and stuff? Because they have three times the amount of testosterone as a woman. They want to hump everything. That makes sense. Yeah nothing to do like you can be a married priest and the next day and 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 have a wife and five kids but if your levels are so high yeah. you're going your eyes are going to be roman yeah. that's just who who it is you don't even yeah. need to know the person's name that's why when most men cheat they didn't even know the person they cheated with yeah. they just wanted to get a nut off you that's know yeah. and that's just what it is and a lot of people don't want to admit mm-hmm. like what it is because society made it impossible to talk a taboo yeah. to talk about why it's like that 
if you think about it, if you want to go into history, before mm -hmm. we came into the Western Hemisphere, into the Western world, there was no man, just one man and one woman relationships. Yeah. They brought that culture from Great Britain where it was just a king and a queen. Oh, one man, one yeah. woman should be together and everything. It never was that way. Yeah. So when you have men living in 2020, horny, like, ah, yeah. oh, I don't know why. <laughs> I love my wife, but I want to yeah. look at this girl over here. It's yeah. because naturally we wasn't even wired to be able to be these people. Mm. So now we're everything that we're doing is forced. Yeah. Everything that we do today is forced from our relationships to the way a family's supposed to be. I remember at one point in time, if you go through the 70s and 80s, they said a household should be one mom, one dad, a boy, a girl, and a dog. It was just they like just that's, that. Yeah, that's so, the so basic. They're, and they're then they standards. Add, right. And the yeah. dog wasn't even allowed in the house. Yeah. Now you got dogs sleeping in the bed with people. So yeah. it's like society will continue to change. Yeah, and then yeah. you're forcing this upon people like, okay, so this is what the norm is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You should have to accept it. Yeah. It's almost like, the, the, and, and not to get into politics or to get into socialism, but if you think about it, I went to schools named after slave masters and it was yeah. the norm. Yeah. We, just was, we just had to accept it. Yeah. And we smiling, we, we, we singing the Pledge of Allegiance, not yeah. knowing the second verse called us slaves because oh, they, wow. yeah. they deleted it. So it's like, when you're dealing with that, back to relationships, when you're dealing with that type of stuff and they change the normacy for people and now you're like, well, why am I acting this way? And then you're getting judged and you're getting, and they're dumping on these men and women mm -hmm. who can't deal with this, this, this culture yeah. and then you're saying it's a problem. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of horny people out there because that's who we are. That yeah, you put yeah. on the earth to reproduce, no one's judging dogs or cats or this type of person the only people getting That's judged it. is our species for yeah. doing this because we have to emotionally be stable enough to do what society told us what we have to do and i'm not saying yeah, go out there yeah. and fuck everybody at the yeah. same time if you find somebody you love stay with that one person but i'm saying if you if you decide to have an entanglement or if something goes beyond <laughs> if something goes yeah, beyond yeah, yeah. that you can't really get mad at that person yeah who who wants to be happy in that way yeah because she likes a girl or he likes a man or he doesn't like anything let them like what the fuck they want to yeah, like. yeah yeah that's true that's very true just 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 my opinion yeah i feel it see as, as a kid i never really went through the phase of cooties that was just never me i was right. always somebody even at like seven eight years old that was very sexually driven right and um and i was i was like what, what what made me this way why is it other kids are just so weirded out by girls and i'm already just so i i didn't know if it was a part of you know maybe seeing some of my older brothers or maybe some of the stuff that was on tv i was like what is influencing me to be this sexual being, you know what I mean? Right. I wasn't running around like, you know, crazy or nothing like right. that, but I was always, I always had it, it in You was me. always conscious that you was a very sexual person. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Like I had a beautiful sixth grade girlfriend and we were, you know, trying to do some grown folk stuff, but it right. was like, we were never uh, scared of that idea. So I, I didn't know if it was like a, a cancer thing, if it was just like me, if there was some, you know. No, 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 I, yeah. I think a lot of people, beyond just the signs, I think a lot of people, you know, some people mature early with their puberty. Some people are just more sexual beings. Yeah. Like some people just get, are stimulated in different ways. Like okay. physical uh, stimulation is probably very high for you. Mm -hmm. For me, physical stimulation is not really high for me. Really? Although okay. I enjoy it. Yeah. I like if I'm having a dope conversation with a girl and, 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 and she's like really into it or whatever, I'm getting turned on. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah. I think it's just depend it all breaks down to beyond the signs. And mm -hmm. that is part of my sign, by the way. I think it does break down to what stimulates a person. Mm. Like I know some people who get really stimulated through food. Okay. Like if you okay. cook for certain people, they will fuck. <laughs> so that's like a love language. That's a them. love that's so yeah. right. So it depends on what your language is and yeah. what turns you on. Just like they say you shouldn't have a type, for example. I have a type. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, I know what my eyes are attracted to. Yeah. And sometimes I try to fight it because society says, oh, you can't just like this one type of person. Just, uh, I yeah. can't help it. Yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's the same thing sexually, yeah. what it is. And then, you know, you go through experience. It's almost like, you experiment when you're having sex and doing things like that and you experiment, you know what you like. Mm -hmm. Like I, I've tried just about everything, and not yeah. everything, but a lot of things. Yeah. And I, I found myself liking, I'm building a goddamn, what is it, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey? He had the- Are you the, really? The, in my house. You're making, making a, the, oh yeah, man. Yeah, I, I got a room, that you is, know? <laughs> because That I, is one of the things I said to myself I was gonna build right. when I got a house. That's, you're the first person I ever knew to say that actually building it. Oh no, no, no. That's my, dope. Mine's that's almost dope. done. 
I gotta, hey man, send me some pictures at least. Yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna see the inspiration. It's almost done. That's yeah. okay. So what, what do you got in there? I got of curiosity. So I got, I got my, I got my muzzles and okay. my, and my. You gotta have some swings. I got my leather. I got, a, I'm putting this wheel on the wall. <laughs> I got the, the chains. I got yeah. the, the things. And the thing about what's funny is there's a lot of women who love that shit. Absolutely. Like it's it, just apparatuses and stuff to yeah. take it to the next level. Because believe it or not, many women love danger. Yeah. They won't tell you. Mm -hmm. Oh, they won't be verbal about it. I think it. they like danger as long as they feel like they're with someone they can trust. Right. They like danger safe around someone who's safe. Exactly. Yeah. So they, but they want to feel danger. I remember I've been in so many relationships where girls would be like, yeah, I want you to just attack me. I'm like, I am not, that yeah. ain't really my thing. <laughs> I don't do the attack thing. Oh, can yeah. you please just put on the, a mask or whatever and just like act on like some robbery type right, stuff. Right. Rob wow, me and break okay. in and stuff and then just, yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> It's a lot of yeah. people that are wired that way. That's yeah. not really me. Yeah. I've tried the teacher on student thing. Yeah. I've tried the... So you, the role play doesn't work for you too well. I've done the role play a few times and okay. I, I, I liked it when I was younger, but I kind of got over it. You know, okay. I, I think with me, I go through phases. I went yeah. through a role play phase. I went to the superhero phase. Okay. I went through a very big phase that I went through was being a ex, an exhibitionist. Okay. So I would just only want to fuck in public places. Oh, like okay. I would gotcha. do it yeah, at like yeah, Dwayne yeah. Reed or on the 50 yeah. yard line at the yep. football field. <laughs> in the car wash because it was the yeah. danger of almost getting caught. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and when I got over that phase, I went back to a very boring, like, just ride me phase, you know, gotcha. like, and, and then I went through my chocolate woman phase for a very long time. Yeah. Then I went through my white girl phase for mm -hmm. a while. Then I went yeah. through my Spanish girls. Oh, I only I went through I think I kind of changed phases sometimes when I go through a relationship that I it was just long and draining. Mm. Like, I remember when I broke up with my ex, um, she was Spanish. Right. I didn't want anything but a Spanish girl. I just wanted something completely different just right. to kind of make me feel like I get a break from, from that energy. That, yeah. yeah, and then I, you're right. I'll just go through different phases, phases of ethnicities and vibes and I get that. Okay. And then I think after you make it through all your phases, you start to normalize and then find out what worked best. Yeah. So I, right now I don't really have a phase. I'm just... If I like you and if you're interesting and if we can have a great conversation and we yeah. can get along, I don't care if you're white, black, or blue. Because the, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, I think when people say they don't have a type, they're lying. Okay. Everyone has a type. You think Every they just don't want to say it out loud? No, no. I, yeah, it's not even that. It's just they don't realize that they have a type. Okay. Every human being has a type. They just don't want to say it. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you go to someone and you say, okay, let's say you go to an average female, she's like, I don't have a type. Mm -hmm. you know, what's your type? I don't have a type. Yeah. Like, so would you date someone that's two feet tall? No, I don't know, that's too short. Then yeah. you have a type. Okay. You want people yeah. that's taller than that. I think that some people have a very specific pick, uh, picky type. Correct. And then some people just have an overall general type of type. Like my type is very, it wouldn't be like, I need you to be this height and that. But I do have a certain look that can come in multiple different races, right. but they all share a similar look similar that kind of just excites me a little bit. Like right. my friend's always saying that I don't generally like very plain around the block looking girls and I always need something a little exotic. exotic. Yeah, just a little, little twist a little, and little it could twist. be anything. It doesn't even matter what the ethnicity is. It's just something that makes me feel like I got somewhat of a unicorn and something special. Right. That's just my type, but right. I, it would be hard to put it into words because it's, it's not, not one thing exactly yeah it's a collection of things but that's that, still a type though yes it they is, have yeah. to have a specific special yeah. part to them to a superpower as they yeah, say yeah, yeah. to them <laughs> yeah. to make you like them yeah also when people say they don't have a type i don't attack them and say do you like this do you like this i say what don't you like because mm. once people talk talking yeah. about what they don't like that means they're they're type zero is everything else they're zero their type yeah. is everything else yeah so if they're like oh i don't talk to guys who smoke mm -hmm. cigarettes then you have a type. Yeah. Oh, I don't talk to guys who, for example, I don't talk to girls who eat pork. No, I've never okay. ate, my family yeah. grew up Muslim, I never ate pork. Oh, that makes sense. Day yeah. in my life, yeah. I don't like the smell of it, I think it's bad, I don't yeah. like people who don't study and do the research behind it, mm -hmm. so I won't, we'll have sex, Yeah. but I won't take you serious if you smoke cigarettes, if you That's eat one. pork, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying, if you're an alcoholic. Yeah. Because I know, friend, I have friends who will date an alcoholic. Yeah. It's one thing to have drinks, some wine, yeah. beers after a game, but people who drink every single day, morning, yeah. noon, and night, I can't date them. I but it. I have friends who do. Mm -hmm. And what I do, to find someone that you can stay with for a long time, I make a list. Okay. I make a list. I have five things that I just simply would not deal with. Okay. Then I beyond that, I'll yeah. have another list. Okay. Ten things that I can deal with, but I don't like. Yeah. And if you take that fifteen to twenty things, and then you just you just take those things. So name five things that you just wouldn't deal with right now. 
Um, like you said, cigarettes is one. Right. I don't like cigarettes. Um, That's I, a deal breaker. You got to have five cigar- deal breakers. Yeah. Cigarettes is a deal breaker for me because I just can't do it because it rolls over to the next one. Bad hygiene. That's part that's smell. Yeah, so the smells and all that type of stuff is big on me. Yeah, because you want sometimes I'm a, I'm a go in guy. Exactly. Yeah, and I'm I, all in. I'm <laughs> exactly. all in. Like exactly. I'm in. And if you can't do that every single time, then that's just not gonna work for me. Um, a third one I would say would be I can't do sneaky, mysterious type people that always make me feel like I'm on edge, trying to figure out what the heck you're really thinking because your communication just sucks. You know, I'm a very open book, so I try to like. If I can match up with somebody who's like that, it helps me a lot as far as keeping my mind at ease. Uh, so that's a big one. Another fourth one will be, we gotta match up compatibility sexual wise. You know, like I have certain things that I like. If you're completely on the opposite where everything I try to take an interest in, you're like, no. It's gonna get very boring after a while. You, you ain't gotta be the craziest porn star in the world, but you have to like some more than the basic stuff. You gotta be more open. Just to keep me excited, right. exactly. Uh, and I'll do the same back for you. And uh, that's four. So fifth one I would say, you would you talk smart? to a, yeah. would Go you ahead. talk to would you talk to a girl who never wants to travel with just a homebody? I haven't done too much travel in my life, so if if you did want to travel, I would probably say, "Ah, right, this is something we can both do together for like the first." But it's time. not a deal breaker. Not if she's like, "I'm not going." In. If I spent the majority of my life traveling all the time, then I would probably put more weight on that. But because, no, I'm just asking. Yeah, I mean, I'm I would like because there are yeah. people out there who say I won't talk to somebody won't unless they love to travel. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Then I, I've had yeah. people out there who tell me I won't talk to somebody unless they're a homebody. I want to be at home watching Netflix and Hulu, yeah, yeah, yeah. nestled up under the I, day. I, I would spend more time doing that because that's like the day. But it's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal breaker if you don't want to travel. I would just, I would just go with my boys and just be like, well, you, you're missing out. It would be nice to experience those with you, but I wouldn't like turn away something somebody that had everything else for just a few weekends away out of the year right. in which we can't do something together. Does she have to cook? No. Does she have I, to cook? Okay, here's the thing. I can't cook for shit, so hopefully she can cook. But it wouldn't be a deal breaker. Does she have to clean? You don't have to be maid walking around. So she's little... sloppy around the house no, and no, no, she's no, just that's, junky that's and shit, no, that's no, no, fine. No. You don't have to clean, but you also can't be making a mess. Right. Yeah, you gotta be something, because I like to keep, I can't think in a space that's filthy. Right. So yes, you have to have, okay, I'm, you you pointing them all out. It's I'm just asking. No, I'm, you're right. I'm, I haven't been in a relationship so long, I kind of forgot some of the so stuff these, I Some of these like. things I'm yeah, doing. that's true. So let me ask you. Yeah. Do you have to live with them? I think before anybody gets committed fully, hmm. marriage or anything, you should absolutely live with them. Because there's a lot that you learn. How long? Learn, long enough to see what their habits are. How long does it take to see someone's habits? It's hard to say. I mean, I, I don't. Everybody's gonna re- unveil them at different times. I would say, but if you go in and so I think very, I think very soon you'll pick up on somebody's habits. I don't think that people who are dirty are gonna be clean for like an extended period of time, especially when their natural habit is to leave the plate there and to get up and go to work and rush out and come back later and say they're gonna do it. So I think that element will reveal itself very soon. The best way to find out someone's habits is to put them under pressure. Okay. So if you make someone busy purposely, mm-hmm. and I've done this before with oh, people, I see. Yeah, yeah. I put them under pressure. It's like, for example, I like um, I like to make sure that things are semi neat in my house. My house is always just neat enough. Yeah. So I've been under pressure where I had two deadlines, a Zoom call, this, that, you know, whatever it yeah. was, under pressure. And I still got to make my bed, still yeah. got to do this. Yeah. Put them under pressure. Mm-hmm. See how they react under pressure because some yeah. people will lie. If they only have one thing to do, they're going to do that one thing. Gotcha. If they only yeah, have yeah, one yeah. dish to clean, they're going to clean that one dish. Yeah. But if you like, baby, we got to go. We got to do this. We got to do that. And you put them under a certain amount of pressure and they're like, hold on, babe. Let me just knock these dishes out. You're like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like her. Yeah. I put yeah. her under pressure and she still got it done. See, I'm not that type of person where if I'm running out the door, I probably will not prioritize the dishes. No, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah. saying like, but when I, yeah, but it's yeah, certain yeah. things that you do have to do. That's like true. for me, yeah. example, like if I'm rushing out the door, I'm like, oh, I forgot. I got to get the trash. I don't want the house to smell, oh, exactly. when you come back. smell like crap when I come back. Yeah, yeah. It's that's just true. little things. A few dishes is the thing is fine. Yeah. But I'm just saying there's certain things. Yeah, and yeah. and I just want to clarify. Can I clarify mm-hmm. with the people? Go ahead, talk to me. I don't, I don't feel like this, this is not a Me Too movement type thing that she have to cook, that she have to clean because sometimes guys have to cook and guys have to clean too. I just want to get it clear like if I'm the breadwinner, for example, and if I'm paying all of the bills, the mortgage if I'm pay, or the rent or whatever you, you're paying in your house and if I'm doing this, that and the other, and if my girlfriend is doing nothing, nothing, if she's not working, for example, when I ask her to cook for us, not just me. Mm-hmm. If I ask her to cook for us, yeah. 
I think that that's a, a good compromise yeah. for if I'm doing all of the work to make sure that we keep a roof over our head, to yeah. make sure that she keeps clothes on her back yeah. and things like that. And it's like, all I want from you is to make sure that we eat. Well, baby, yeah. I don't cook. Well, learn because yeah. I, <laughs> no, I, and I yeah. say this because yeah. it's like, do you want to switch jobs? Yeah. Do you want to make sure that we, that you pay this? You know, my True. mortgage, yeah. for example, is $9,000 a month. Do you yeah. want to pay my mortgage so if she couldn't cook would you be okay if she just got some food ah that's fine with me figure okay. it out so just somehow provide the okay that makes sense no I, I don't i don't i don't think that she has to has to cook but I, there is a there is something that makes someone feel comfortable with home cooked meals true there yeah, was yeah. one it's time a plus for sure when i was dating this one girl when i was fresh out of college yeah i wasn't making a lot of money mm -hmm. and she was making you know far more money than me which mm -hmm. i'm okay with yeah at the time and she would come home and she wanted something good. So I picked up some cookbooks. Yeah. Oh, I, you learned. I learned how to cook certain yeah. things. I already knew how to cook basically because my mom was a good chef, yeah. a good cook, and she baked a lot. Okay. So And my sisters as well. So yeah. I said, I'm going to cook for my girl and make sure that she eats since she just worked yeah. a 12-hour shift. Yeah. So it's not just about women and men and degrading. It's mm -hmm. about making that person feel like they appreciate you, it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Because if I, if she came home from 12 hours, I'm like, baby, I'm gonna get you some pizza. Yeah. She am like, damn, yeah. you're going to spend my money that, that I'm working for to get <laughs> yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But me sitting up there and going through those yeah. th to show that I put time in that yeah. I cared. It's, it, 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 it's a, like you said, the that's little thing. That's thing. a cancer trait. That's a cancer that's trait. A <laughs> but I did that for yeah. her because yep. I knew she was, if she was in Aquarius, I probably wouldn't have. But <laughs> you're, you're, you're cool. You'll be all right. Yeah, yeah she would have been cool. <laughs> but because she wasn't, I, yeah. I, um, and I knew that she that she cared about that type of stuff, I yeah. took my time out and I went the extra mile. That, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. I mean, it, it's really just about showing the appreciation, the gratitude. Like you said, if you can't cook, find some kind of way to provide the food. If you, you know, want to go to your mom's house and have her cook a meal and bring it over, do something to show that you're not just sitting around. And if you can't afford a house nothing. cleaner, clean up. Yeah, all that, yeah. People exactly. have time to, yeah, to yeah, clean yeah. things, clean yeah. things up. People love coming home. When you go on vacation or something, you come home to a clean face place or you go to work, you come home to, it's a no better yeah, feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the reason I started making my bed, beyond the fact that they said every billionaire who's ever yeah. existed make their bed six mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning, yeah. beyond that, I said... When I go to my room to go to sleep at night and I see that bed made up, yeah. oh, it looks so good. Oh, yeah. And it feels good. And it feels good. To get good. underneath some nicely tucked sheets. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I hate getting in a bed that's been unmade from the night before. Like, I like my toes to be tight when they slide into the bottom. So I get that whole feeling. And it feels good. To be with a girl that didn't have that same way of being, you know, that, that like to lounge around in the bed mm. all day. That's why I make my bed, to make sure I don't get back in the bed. Right. And I make it so neat that nobody wants to sit on it. Like, mm. it, it's almost insulting to sit on the it's bed. It's insulting. Yeah, because they're just like, can I sit on your bed? No, you can't. No. But that's how well I put it together because when I get up for the day, I'm not getting back in until it's nighttime. And it says a lot about a person when they, when you make your bed in the morning, it shows that you're starting your day with organization. Yeah. You start the very beginning of your day with organization. Mm -hmm. If you start the very beginning of your day messy, yeah. you're probably going to have a messy day. Yeah. You start your day making your bed, doing the things you need to do in the bathroom, and you start organized, the rest of your day is probably going to go pretty organized. Yeah. So I start my day very organized, and that's why I feel like I continue to grow at yeah. the, the rate that I'm growing at, because I make yeah. sure my day stays organized. Now, yeah. can I go back and ask you one more question Please. about your, your things in women? So would you talk to a girl who doesn't go to the gym? No. So that's another deal the breaker. The reason why that's I another deal talk, breaker. Yeah, I, that is a deal breaker. And that's only because, for one, it's a very big part of my life. So I feel like we can share that bond together. Exactly. But two, I don't want a wife that's going to be unhealthy. So that's five things. I want you to, yeah. Well, there it is. Yeah, I, I, you don't have to be the most fit six-pack ab girl in the world, but you do have to have some sense of fitness knowledge. You have to have some, it has to be a part of your lifestyle doesn't matter what weight you are so this isn't about being a skinny girl but yeah i couldn't be with a girl that just because you want your wife to, you want your wife to get old with you i want exactly i want her to be healthy i want her when she has that baby to know how to snap back That's i important. want her to i dated a girl one time like that that when i was training trying to go through my whole you know i was at home doing p90x videos and she was just watching me just sitting there on the couch eating a pizza i'm smelling all the grease and pepperoni in the house and all i'm thinking about is the salad I got to eat after this. And it was very unmotivating to have a partner doing this. I'm like, yo, you're just going to make me want to grab a slice. 
Because I mean, why why am I doing all this? Stuff? And that's you one I mean? thing like, people don't understand yeah. is, and they'll 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 make up excuses all the time. But this is one thing that people have to understand: your partner molds you. Yeah. Because when you're living in a household or you're with someone who constantly eats terrible, you're yeah. going to eat terrible. It's there if it's in the house. Exactly. They're like, no, you just need to have more self control. Just because I do it, don't mean you have yeah, to do it. Yeah. You don't get it. Yeah. You can't date somebody who it's just already don't hard get enough it. to stay on a, on a nutrition plan. Very difficult. At least help me out by being a part of it with me. Very different. So an ex before that, she she always held me accountable. And that was one thing that I loved about her is that we could not only work out together, but because she was always doing it and I like to spend time with her, I'm like, all right, let's go to the gym. Why not? Why would I stay home while you're working on yourself? Why would I eat this crap when I know we're both trying to stay fit for whatever we have going? For Holding each other accountable keeps you fit. Exactly. Keeps so you fit. That's a huge thing for me. But fortunately in LA, most people are into fitness. Right. But so I'm talking about in other places. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a big thing. It's a big thing. It's, it, but so for some people, that's not a deal breaker. Yeah, because they just be fat together. True. And it happens. And if and that's I, what you want to be, then I, hey, I'm happy for them. Yeah. Some people be like, I don't want to date you if you don't want to eat. But like if you can't eat this meal and you want to talk about diets, if we can't I have mac and cheese, yeah. If we can't have this, we're not dating. I get yeah. it. If that's what they want to do. Go yeah, for it. Exactly. Because like, I can see why somebody who enjoys that would be annoyed by somebody like me. Right. Think about, come on, man. We can't even have right. a good meal. But then there yeah. are extremes. There's one girl who I was dating who just wanted to count my macros all day. Right. I'm like, yo, it's too. It was too That's much. That's a lot. Yeah. So yeah. it was an extreme. Like yeah. I would have a protein drink. Oh, you can't drink that. Yeah. Let me yeah. see you that. Don't want she, mom. Would, she would yeah. grab it. She would mm -hmm. grab the drinks. Yeah. Turn it around and read every yeah, ingredient. Yeah. And I was like, yo. <laughs> so there's it has yeah. to be a balance. balance. Yeah. So what I'm seeing from her is probably what people who don't eat healthy see from us. All right. So to recap today, like I said, we come the zodiac signs. It's not something that you have to take entirely to heart. It's something that you might want to consider when it comes to looking for a potential match. It definitely has some merit to it. Obviously, as you heard today, there are some actual facts that go along to a person's foundation. So if you want to have a little bit more of an edge in the dating world, maybe take the time, like they stormed mentioned, to look up their sign. Look at some of the traits and things that they need. So maybe you can use it as a cheat code to win the person over that you want, but also be mindful of what it is that they are looking for and make sure that you are able to give that to them without taking away from too much of who you are. Because it has to be a nice balance. All right, y'all, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching Fury Talks. Daystorm, thank you again for coming you on the show. got it, brother. It was an absolute pleasure. Yep. Um, for everybody who doesn't know you, which is probably very few, tell them how they can find you. Well, you can find me at Daystorm everywhere. I mean, apparently there's a lot of platforms out there now. I'm, I'm posting on about nine, believe oh, wow. it or not. Yeah. So, You're uh, killing it and all. Uh, all yeah, right. so um, just Daystorm uh, everywhere. Just put in Daystorm. I think I'm the only one, unless it's some fake accounts. Just look for the check. <laughs> There it is. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't already, turn on the post notifications so you know when the next episode comes out. As always, Fury Talks. Till next time. Later. Fury Talks.